Oh no, Tokyo! What's happening, Palooza Party? It's your girl Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today it's time for my April and May anime merch haul. This is going to be all the stuff that I purchased in April and May ish because all of my stuff got jumbled together. I tried to separate it. It will not contain any CD Japan items. I'm doing a whole haul by itself for all my import CDs that I bought. Um, so this is just a few things, but I wanted to show it to you guys. I went to Kinakunia. I got something from Hot Topic, a couple things from Hot Topic. There's a Chereba prize in here, which actually I should have shown you a long time ago. <laughs> But here it is. Let's get our unboxing on. So my boyfriend lives in Texas and he lives by a Kino Kuni. <laughs> and for all the times I've been visiting him since January, we've never gone. So we went when I visited for a long time in May for both of our birthdays. Um, and I bought some stuff there. And I shouldn't have said that because this stuff is not from Kinokuniya. Here's the bag from it though. Uh, that's coming up soon. So this is from Chereba. It's a Golden Donald. It's a mini plush. Um, I actually won this in a cloth, like not in not a ping pong dropper. I know you're shocked. Um, I also won a huge version of him and I gave it to my nephew, but I kept the little one for me because he's little and he's cute and he can sit somewhere. There you go, Golden Donald, there you go. Then I did win this from Chereba also. This is an Ensemble Stars can badge and this is the dude from Akatsuki. I've been watching the anime so I'm learning who these characters are. Uh, yeah, I'm excited because he's very cute and I like him a lot. And now we have stuff from Hot Topic. So. I saw these and I only saved like the bag because I already opened them. These are Sailor Moon collectible mini uh, domes. So <laughs> um, I have Nightmare Before Christmas ones of these and they're really cute and I have them at work. You just kind of stack them on top of each other. Um, there's nine different ones. You can't get any outers. It's Moon, Chippy Moon, Mercury, Mars. Jupiter, Venus, Tuxedo Mask, and two chases. Uh, one chase is some different kind of Sailor Moon and one chase is a different kind of Chibiusa. So I bought several of them. One, two, three, four, five of them. I got doubles because I can't make an order from Hot Topic and get blind boxes without getting doubles. Fortunately, the double that I got was of Sailor Venus. Unfortunately, these are really ugly. Look at them. They're bobbleheads. They're really ugly guys. I mean, these are like some, these almost look bootleg. Like they're from an American, I don't know why I showed you this twice. They're from an American distributor, but holy crap are these ugly. So there's two ways that you can do with these. You can stack them on top of one another. They click into place like this, you know, but better. Or you can also hook them to the side. They have little hookies so you can hook them like this. You can hook them in the back. You can do whatever you want with them to display them. So I got two Venuses. I got a Mars and a Mercury. So the Sailor Mars is actually the cutest one. She's not as derpy looking as the Venus. And then here is the Sailor Mercury. So you would think with two chances to get a Sailor Moon, I would get a Sailor Moon, right? No, this is this is me we're talking about. I got the Chase <laughs> Chibiusa. Not only did I get the Chibiusa, I got the Chase Chibiusa. She's pearlized. There's something flying here. She's pearlized, so she's shiny. Shiny Chase Chibiusa with a giant head and a very tiny body. That's my luck with Sailor Moon blind boxes, fam. I won't be buying any more of these. I bought my very first Proplica from Hot Topic. Now these are ungodly expensive. Um, I really want them, but they're so expensive. I can't rationalize buying them, but I could use hot cash. So I bought this for half the price that it normally goes for. It's the Sailor Uranus lip rod. Of course, if I were going to buy a Proplica, my first one would be Sailor Uranus. It's made so that you can display it with Sailor Neptunes. And I haven't taken this out of the box, 
So I'm very curious to see what it looks like. Profligas tend to run the lowest around like 70 bucks. The highest around like 150. These I believe were around 90, I want to say. I bought this one for about 50. So normally you also can't use hot cash on imported things from Japan at Hot Topic, but for this you could. So I took advantage of that and I bought it. Oh, I almost, it almost fell on the floor. So it comes with instructions for how to put it together and they're in a bag right here. I don't want to take them out of the bag. It comes with this nice artwork here. Oh, I don't want to take this out of the bag because I'm not going to put it together right now. I want to leave it in the box, but here's what it looks like. The base is kind of actually basic. It's just white plastic, but the lip rod looks really well made. I believe that these are supposed to be to scale. Honestly, it's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be if these are supposed to be made to scale, like the actual size that the Sailor Senshi would use. But it's nice looking. It's really like, it's legit. It's a legit propolica. And I don't want to display it now. It's going to go in my storage unit for the time being, guys. That's why I'm keeping it in the box. Just think about my weeb house. That's what I do to get through my days. I didn't place an order at Tom, I don't think. But here's a clear file I found. So hey, clear file, okay. Now here's the stuff from Pino Cunha. This completes my Sailor Moon SH figure art set. Okay, I didn't know this existed until about a year ago. Um, this is, it says on the back, Nice Sailor Moon, the Sailor Moon imposter version. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it was Zoocyte in the first anime who um, dressed up like Sailor Moon and tried to impersonate her. This was a Comic-Con exclusive for 2015. I found it at Kino Kunia. Amazon was the only other place I've ever found it for like $80. They were selling it for $62. So I bought it. I'm very scared to take this out of the box because it kind of got crushed in my suitcase. So I'm really hoping that it's not broken. So let's take a little look. This is an SH Figure Arts. This completes my SH Figure Arts series. She's in one piece. Okay, that's good. Thank you, baby Jesus. She comes with instructions. But here is what it looks like in packaging because I'm not going to take her out and pose her. After buying all of these SH figure arts, Sailor Moon figures, I learned that I really don't like them because they're poseable and they remind me of Figmas, which I don't like at all. But now I have them, all of them, and eventually I will take them out and pose them. And the last thing I got for this haul. I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff because, well, a lot of it's CD Japan, but then also it was my birthday, so I got a lot of gifts. Um, I will insert a picture of the Pokemon plushies that Chris got me for my birthday. And he also got me a Piplup from Build-A-Bear, which talks and has a hoodie. And he got me the extra hoodie that goes with it. It's super cute. Um, I don't have it at this moment. It's currently sitting on my couch because I was holding it. Um, but I got the Oto Media magazine. I haven't gotten one of these in a while and I paid too much money for it, but it had Starish on the cover from Una Pretty, so I had to get it. Um, on the back, it has King of Prism, I believe, shiny seven stars. So uh, let's open this. Let's take it out of the plastic because I'm sure there's bonus stuff in here. I overpaid for this and I will admit that I overpaid for this, but I also couldn't find it um, anywhere online to buy. It comes with a poster and this, which, yes, <laughs> from the Maji Love Kingdom movie. And then here's all the game covers. It's a Gakken something. It's got Udapri, tons of Udapri stuff. I think this is every time, every layout they've had and when they've been on the cover of this magazine. So here's some Udapri for you. And then it comes with a poster um, of Hypnosis Mike and Oudapri. So the same Oudapri that was on the cover and then I'll just show you like the front side of this so I don't have to unwrap it all the way. 
It's Buster Bros from Hypnosis Mike. And these magazines are just nice to look at. There's tons of pictures. There's another poster in here of Mob Psycho 100. And oh, is this Rayo and Mabu? Oh my God. Well, this is a nice surprise from Sarah's on my Oh, yes. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Oh my God, that was a nice surprise. And then King of Prism, this guy that's on the back cover too. And it's all in Japanese, so I can't really read this as a magazine, but it's got like seiyuu stuff in here. It's got pretty pictures from anime. The new anime is coming out, like here's Demon Slayer. Like, I love these magazines a lot. I haven't bought any in a really long time. And this one is all about Maji Love Kingdom. Look at the evolution of Renjin Guji. Oh, God bless. So this is from April of 2019. Paid, I overpaid. I, normally these are like between 12 and 17 dollars I paid 25 but it was sold out online so I couldn't buy it and I'm happy that I have it now and that was everything for my April and May anime merch haul like I said I have a lot of stuff from CD Japan it's gonna get its own haul so it'll be all by itself <laughs> but let me know what you thought about anything that I got in this haul down in the comments below Who to pray? <laughs> who's your favorite starish member let me know and I'll have a little party down in the comments if you like what I do and you want to buy me a drink, my Ko-Fi links in the down bar. If you want to send me something to unbox for this channel, my P.O. box is down there as well. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My usernames, Anime Palooza, at those places. And until next time, love your faces.